Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down two, NASDAQ up two, S&P's down two. Bottom line, you get a holiday trading out here today, folks. Uh, you get sideways trade and flat market uh, light volume. Gold, gold contract up $6.90, trading at $14.95 an ounce. We have silver up 13 cents, $17.67 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 36 at $53.34. That light sweet crude market, folks, bottom line, no matter how many troubles are over in the uh, Mideast, it looks like uh, bottom line oil still wants to run into that $50 area. King dollar. King dollar up 153 ticks, trading at 98454 Just over the higher trading range once again. King dollar, what King dollar did last Thursday and Friday. Uh, Friday, it got back inside its lower range. I suspect that's right where we're going to go. Uh, and we're going to go down to that 95 level. Why? Because, well, you get the, the euros at 110. The pound, however... That had a huge sign of strength last Thursday and Friday. You're at 125. That pound was looking to go to 131. Uh, that would basically uh, put a little weakness inside the dollar. The yen. The yen's at 108.34. Now, what's going on with the yen? Let's go pull, pull, pull up this yen because if you happen to be uh, in the metals market also, you want to keep an eye on this yen. The reason being is that you're coming to the top of the range inside the yen. And if the yen can actually... We're at 108.34. If that yen gets over 109.32, it's uh, not going to be great for the uh, metals market. You know, we'll see where it shakes out. We've been up here uh, four separate times since September 18th, meaning at this uh, 108.48, 108.50 number. If we go over and take a look at the S&Ps, we'll just see what the S&Ps is this. What we did last Friday is that you went higher. That being said, you were coming into the downdraft from August as well as September, and you're coming in that with a lot lighter volume. Uh, the downdraft in August had 142 million shares traded. We got into that with 101, gave it up on price on the, on the, into the close, last 20 minutes of the close. I suspect what we're going to have here overnight, you're going to get a weak market overnight, and we'll see if we get any volume. I suspect we're going to see lower prices because of the failure on volume as well as price on Friday. And we'll see whether they get any traction on the way down with an expansion of volume. Because what we do have is that the banks are going to be kicking off earnings tomorrow, folks, in a big way. Recap out here. We get a sideways market. You get light volume. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.